Hello beautiful people. So today I am really excited because I kind of want to tell you a bit about a transitioning period in my life. Over the last, I don't know, maybe year and a half, I've gone through this period where I've just started transitioning into a more natural lifestyle and just kind of, I don't know, zeroing down on my waist you could say. Just trying more natural alternatives to the things I use and looking more into like minimalism and things like that and it's been really interesting i think is is really kind of like opened my mind to a lot of things and kind of just made me reassess my life and the way i live it um especially as a traveler i don't know when i travel i just feel like i'm always so bogged down by the amount of stuff i have and i felt like i really wanted to just kind of break it down to the bare minimums that i needed i've been away for a little bit i haven't i've kind of just been taking a bit of a social break to be honest um like facebook youtube social media is kind of like going crazy right now and i'm just kind of like wow i just need some quiet time so i've just kind of been taking my time out hanging out babe yeah. there you are cool yeah i needed a social break i'm kind of I don't know, I'm so, ooh, I don't know. I deleted my Facebook recently, not recently, but when I needed the social break, I decided, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of my Facebook because it's just overwhelming and I don't even like being on it. It's like a burden and I'm like, why am I forcing myself to be here? So I was like, deactivate, boom, I was gone. Would you like to keep your messenger? Hell to the freaking no, deactivate, boom. <laughs> it's so nice i feel just liberated after taking this break uh and i'm also on a low carb diet so it's kind of making me a bit crazy so you can imagine just i just don't need that in my life i don't need no more extra intention and stress so yeah i've been taking a social break reading more enjoying life thinking about traveling and trying to kind of come together and make a plan about where i'm going next what i'm doing next and how i'm gonna do it that brings me to the minimalism stuff um, into a more natural approach to life. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. I just wanna kind of show you guys three ways, especially like within the, this has been within the last two weeks actually, that is kind of a massive change I guess for me, but is um, how I've kind of tried to bring a more natural minimalist approach to my life. Um, so I'm gonna start with, it's these are three things I changed recently and um, I'm still trying them. So I'm, it's, it's all kind of like a more of a, um, why is the printer on? Oh, because yeah, he turned on the electricity. Anyways, I'm just still trying to, um, what's the word? I'm still trying them out. So this is more of a first impressions type thing. Let's get into it. So the first item that I have changed from my life and gone to a more natural, why does it feel like something's leaking? <laughs> approach is Dr. Bronner's Castile soaps. So I, I decided, uh, decided to invest in these. These are the travel sizes as I do travel and it makes sense to get travel sizes for the future. So I was just like, when I travel, I'm gonna need something that works for everything. And these little guys are 18 and one soaps. I got the peppermint and I got the lavender. Both very different smells, both very nice. Um, I like the peppermint because it's just kind of an all scent sort of thing. It is a bit, it's a bit, what's the word? Tangy, spicy, I don't know. <laughs> Tangy, spicy, pepperminty, whatever. The lavender just smells really nice and floral and I like lavender as a scent because I use it in my hair sometimes. And I just like essential oil smells. So these are both really nice smelling and they do everything from washing your hair to your body, to your laundry, to your dishes, to your dog <laughs> that I don't have. Makeup brushes, which I'm about to do. I need to wash, wash one of my makeup brushes for the next thing. But I got these because I was looking for something that I could carry without carrying everything. So um, when I travel, I'm gonna try and really downsize over the next few months. So my like traveling gear is gonna be really light. Let me know if you would like me to do a packing. I almost dropped that, I almost went flying. Let me know if you want me to do a packing video on how I, what I pack to go traveling and yeah because now it's lighter <laughs> but yeah so um oh crap they really oh man i really shook them a lot i feel like they're gonna explode no there's no explosion happening but they're really bubbly anyways i'm gonna put these down but yeah so the dr bronner soaps um are really good they are castile soaps made from certified organic organic certified organic ingredients um certified fair trade uh what else yeah better for you they're just better for you <laughs> but yeah so i kind of changed that over so that 
that will pretty much eliminate a bunch of things in my life. I've been using it as to remove my makeup. I've been using it. I used it to wash my hair this week. Um, and I think it did a pretty good job. What else? It wasn't drying either, you know. I mean, as long as you moisturize your hair, it shouldn't. You shouldn't find that it will dry your hair out. But I hadn't washed my hair in two weeks. Don't even ask. Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was just, I had it in these two twists. And I just wanted to keep it like that forever. <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to change. But yeah, so. I like these and I'm going to be using these for a while to come and they last forever so but if you use it for everything it might not. The second thing that I changed in my life, um, today literally actually I went out to the, I went out to Lush today to buy this. This is, uh, I've been really wanting to do this for a while so it's really exciting. This is a Lush powdered deodorant and the way you apply it is, I'm not going to use this brush because it's got makeup on it. <laughs> which I'm gonna go get rid of but yeah you, you literally just dust on this one is like powder that's been pressed into a bar you can get the solid bar ones which are made basically from oils or a more creamier base and but this is a powdered base but they just packed it into a bar which is very handy so you don't have loose powder everywhere or loose deodorant powder everywhere but yeah you literally dust it and you dust it onto your armpits it's very simple it's a deodorant not an antiperspirant antiperspirants are made with aluminium and they clog your pores and they stop you from sweating but yeah so which isn't supposed to apparently not good for you uh somehow led to breast cancer somehow connected to other issues with health <laughs> but yeah i can see where i can see where that could come from you know body holding on to toxins instead of releasing them but yeah and i honestly don't like deodorants i've I find that they destroy your clothes like seriously all my white shirts like deodorants have just destroyed them and um they make my arms hurt like sometimes like if you shave and you put deodorant it's like ah pain but this is really actually quite I don't know I went I tried this today and I <laughs> I may have rubbed it on my skin and then I may have put the wax part on my skin <laughs> don't even know it's, and it was so one side of my armpit's really painful and that was in the toilet at the mall so let's just say i was really excited and i should have waited until i got home and figured it out properly anyhow i'm gonna use it properly tomorrow so hopefully i won't be in pain <laughs> like i am now but yeah looking forward to that so deodorant one thing i've turned over i've like chucked out my other deodorant and now i'm just on this so hopefully i don't know we're gonna see how how do i smell no yeah, I smell okay. <laughs> I smell not bad. I went out, did some shopping, walked around. It rained a bit, but I smell fine. And there's the last thing that I've changed over. The last thing I changed over, which it just arrived today as well, is this. Um, if you're a guy and don't really want to listen to this, you might want to just tune out and, or leave now because I'm. this is the last thing really I'm going to talk about. <laughs> but um, thanks for joining us for the rest of that. But um, yeah, it's uh, what this is, is a menstrual cup and it collects your menstrual cycle stuff <laughs> that's it and i don't know i was really getting tired of buying tampons i was really get tired of spending money on something that i needed every month and it was just frustrating and i was just like do you know what why am i doing this it doesn't make any sense and i kind of need a better alternative for traveling if i'm gonna if i'm gonna like i don't know backpack for a while which is my plan i really want to do some backpacking i haven't actually ever done funnily enough any actual real backpacking and i and i really want to so if i'm gonna do that i can't be carrying like hella tampons around that's just inconvenient and just not logical especially if i backpack um southeast asia which i plan to at some point so i'm like I need a better solution so this is my solution I decided finally I bit the bullet after watching loads of videos and I was like you know I'm just gonna get it because it's just in the long run it's gonna be so much more beneficial for me and it only costs I bought it on Amazon it cost me like 35 Canadian dollars 36 Canadian dollars super cheap like in comparison to spending like five to ten dollars on a box of tampons each month and then 12 months later how much money have you spent a lot so and this will last you as long as it lasts you at least a year probably so i'm really excited um but yeah those were the changes i kind of made in my life to kind of downsize the amount of waste i use um and also to just kind of make my life more convenient in a funny way <laughs> and to just be more aware of myself and what i'm doing you know it's weird because i but I kind of came into this because I was looking at easier ways to backpack and easier ways to travel 
But then in the end, I was like, man, this is just a great way to live. <laughs> yeah, I just really wanted to touch you guys about that because it just so happened that I went out and bought a couple of things or well, I picked up a parcel and I bought the deodorant. So I was like, huh, here's two of the more natural ways I've been living my life. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> it's a bit TMI and weird, but yeah, it's fun. Um, who knows what the next month is going to bring? We'll see. So I will see you guys soon, hopefully. Sorry for the long break. I actually just kind of put this, I was gonna take a while out, but I just really wanted to make this, so I made it. So it might just turn up like in May. Who knows? Do you use any natural products? Are there any natural alternatives? I really wanna try a bamboo toothbrush. Like, I'm interested in that. Any other products? And if you're a company that sells natural products, please do get in contact with me. I'll be interested to see what you have to offer and to try some stuff, so yeah. Other than that, let me know down below. Annyeong. Bye-bye.